Thank you for joining us on 1460 WVOX, America's great community radio station where many different voices are heard in the land. Opinions expressed on our community and open line programs are not necessarily those of the station, its management, or sponsors. As always, we're privileged to amplify the voice of the people here on Vox Populi 1460 and worldwide at WVOX.com for you and yours. When do you listen? It's nice to sit back in the car and listen to it while you're driving. Okay, driving where? Everywhere. No reason to reset your preset. Keep it right here. VOX. 1460 WVOX. Good morning and welcome to Environmentally Sound. I am Bob Lovensold, your host for the series on the natural world, education, and culture. A word about scheduling, environmentally sound for the time being, will be heard at 10.30 rather than at 10. And due to the shortened format, we will make some changes to optimize our time together. We will continue to seek to stimulate your curiosity, intellect, and passion. We will continue to read names of the fallen in Afghanistan, but we will keep these honoraria to five. Today's news from the natural world. Today is Thursday, October 11th, 2012, the 20th day of autumn, and a beautiful autumn day it is. My guest today is Susie Castillo, Miss USA of 2003. I think I got that right. She has been quite active since then, running for Miss Universe that same year, going on to write a book, acting on TV. And Susie will participate as MC in the musical Loving the Silent Tears to be performed one day only. That's Saturday, October 27th at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. Speaking to us, I think from Los Angeles, welcome Susie Castillo. Uh, You are in Los Angeles. I am in Los Angeles, yes. It's a cloudy day here, which is unusual. That was my next question, how the weather is there. (laughs) It's usually sunny, 72, sunny, gorgeous, but uh, not today. So you know L.A. very well. Uh, Do I? Yeah, this is, I'm going on about my, I think my sixth or seventh year living here. Okay, tell us a little bit about this uh, this musical. We have a couple of minutes before our first break. Just tell us a little bit about... uh, about this musical and uh, your role in it. Sure, yeah. Well, I'm emceeing along uh, with Corey Feldman, uh, actor who we all know very well, um, Kelly Packard, who's an actress. She was on Baywatch, and also Christoph St. John, who's a two-time Emmy winner um, for The Young and the Restless. And it's it's going to be a, a celebration. The musical is a celebration of um, the Supreme Master Ching Hai's uh, poetry collection, and it's just going to be a beautiful evening here at the Shrine Auditorium in L.A. It's actually a, a, a matinee, is it not? Um, it's at 4 p.m. Oh, is okay. the show. Yeah, I don't know if that's considered a matinee. Well, we, will, we, won't, uh, we won't split hairs. Okay, we have to take our break, Susie. Uh, please hold on. Uh, you're listening to WVOX AM 1460 in New Rochelle, New York. If you're listening in Vadia or Bombay, India, Khartoum, Sudan, Jakarta, Indonesia, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, or Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, You have logged on to www.wvox.com and you are listening live and we will be right back. Okay, we are back. We are speaking with Susie Castillo, a former Miss USA and contestant in the Miss Universe pageant. And as I look at her and speak to her and hear her charm and see her beauty, it's just a puzzle to me why she did not win the Miss Universe, but you know judges have their own agenda. If I were a judge, Susie would have been in. You are so sweet to say that. I appreciate that. I'll take being Miss USA, though. That's not, not oh, a bad gig. Not at all. Not at all. Now, uh, you know what? Tell us a little bit about your, your book. It's called Confidence Queen, um, and it's in every girl's guide for life. Uh, you, got, you got four areas you, you uh, um, address. You want to tell us what those are? Yeah, you know, it's the, the book is called Confidence is Queen, the four oh, keys. To, yes. The is is very tiny. I know, <laughs> I hear you. Um, but the book, you know, uh, it, it's got a, a kind of long subtitle, The Four Keys to Ultimate Beauty Through Positive Thinking. And basically, while I was a host at MTV, um, right after being Miss USA, MTV um, offered me a contract to be one of their hosts. 
So that was kind of like my first big job after being Miss USA. And, um, you know, I was really inspired by the young viewers. You know, I would I would get off, get on stage to host a show and I would hear these young kids just yelling out, Susie, I love you and waving. And, and I'm like, wow, that's amazing that they feel this for me. They don't even know me. And they're telling me that they love me. And I thought, you know, this is, I have a tremendous opportunity here to positively influence these young kids, you know? And I, I thought if, if I'm gonna have a voice and, and I'm gonna be in the public eye like this, I, I wanna be um, positive, you know, and, and be a role model for young people. And so I decided to write this book and I talk about spirituality and I talk about, you know, loving yourself and having high self-esteem and the importance that, the important role that that uh, plays in your life, even as an adult, you know, and it's something that you, cultivate it becomes a it should be a foundation in your life you know I, through your younger years that way when you get older um it's just there supporting you and i talk about um you know your relationships with your uh positive relationships with your um loved ones with your friends with your parents you know and um how to put your best foot forward and figure out what you want to do in life you know what are your dreams and goals and so these are all things that were important to me as a young woman and and i wanted to share my experiences and of course having won the miss usa pageant um and being just the third latina to ever do so and at the time the 53 years that the miss usa pageant had been going on um you know I, I, there was a lot of uh my the latin community was very much interested in my journey and um as were as were the mtv fans as well so it was really uh, having my book um, be something that, you know, it's published, it was published by Penguin Books in 2007, and, it, and it's always out there. It's just, it's a blessing and, and a tremendous opportunity for me. Okay, you also talk about uh, take control of your health and body image. So, of yes. course, um, without, if, if you don't address those things, you got nothing, really. Uh, it, it is so essential to, uh, is. To, to keep your body and your mind strong. Otherwise, you're just floundering. Absolutely. And, and, you know, I have, uh, you know, people in my family and friends who have struggled, say, with weight because they never learned how to eat healthy and, and live a healthy lifestyle. And it's amazing how that influences their their life, you know, later on, even as an adult, if you struggle with weight issues. So that's something that I, I, I touch upon in my book as well, because it's certainly something that contributes to your self-esteem and, you know, loving the person that, that you look at every morning in the mirror. And so I, I talk about that and I share some healthy recipe tips that I learned uh, from my nutritionist and friend Natalia Rose, who's actually in New York City, so she's in on your, you know, your time yeah. in your time zone. Yeah, and you know, she taught me all kinds of fantastic little tips and things to uh, in order to be health a healthier person, and it's worked. And I don't ever get sick, and it's fantastic. And of course, that's led to I met her six years ago, and that led to me living a very much uh, vegan lifestyle. I, I won't say that I'm a hundred. I'm not a hundred percent vegan but i'm um, definitely vegetarian and and have adopted a plant-based diet in my life and does she know you're on the radio this morning she does not no oh. she didn't well you'll have to give her the website so that when it when the interview is posted she'll be able to listen it's environmentally sound.org i will let her know environmentally sound.org i'll right. also let all my my followers know on twitter that they can log on that's fantastic right and that that will be posted um within a few days now the other thing that you have which this resonates particularly with me is believe in your dreams and make them a reality so many people just give up they don't do that and if you don't well your life just suffers if you have a dream and you believe in it whether you get there or not doesn't matter as long as you live the belief right absolutely and i think when you reach for the stars you know that, that famous quote if you reach for the stars, even if you don't get there, you'll still be, uh, or reach for the moon, and if you don't get there, you'll still be among the stars. I truly believe in that. You know, you just have to always aim high in life yes. and and not be fearful of of what you your heart and your spirit truly wants to do. Now, you weren't, um, y your father left when you were six, so you, you were down at some point in your life. Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, not having a dad, um, you know, my, my dad in my life was something that was um, extremely uh, tough for me as a kid, you know. Um, yeah, he, he left and my parents got divorced when I was six years old. My little sister was six months old and my older sister uh, was eight years old. 
So, you know, my, I was raised by a single mom um, and she raised three young girls and did a great job. I always give my mom props because she, uh, it's, it's difficult. I can't imagine, you know, I see my friends now with one child and I can't imagine how my mom did it with, you know, with three very young girls. And um, it was something difficult and, and, and something definitely that I talk about in my book as well, because so many, so many kids go through that. So do you have uh, plans to write again or uh, is it one book and the rest of it is acting or are you going to write some more? You know, I mostly actually I'm mostly a host, you know, like this is why, uh, you know, I was asked to MC Loving the Silent Tears. And um, I'm, I'm like I said, I, I think the MTV really gave me a, a platform and established me as a host. But I have done some acting as well. And um, books is something I definitely want to continue doing. I love writing. I'm developing my own shows now for television, something that, uh, you know, a scripted show, actually, a half hour comedy based on comedy. my book. Yeah, comedy based cool. on my book. So, you know, I've taken several writing classes here in Los Angeles and and am and, and now kind of going into uh, want to continue hosting and acting, but uh, want to become a producer and a creator as well. There you go. You're reaching for, for the stars. Absolutely. I, always. In your always. case, I think you're going to get there. Actually. I think so. <laughs> I'm making the right connections. I think, you know, I certainly live in the right city for it. So I'm just uh, making use of this fantastic city that uh, I call home. Now, just briefly, uh, tell us about your TV work. I, I, there was a trailer which puzzled me a little bit on the Internet because you weren't in it, and, it, and you're going to be in the show, but then there was just some little clip, and I didn't get it. Uh, what, what was it? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't even remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on, it's on your website, I think. It's, uh, Is it? I think so. I don't know. Oh, well, it could be. There are a couple videos on my website. It's suzycastillo.net. And um, there's my acting reel and my hosting reel. And I guess some of the things as a host that I've done other than MTV have been, um, well, the, the last show that I hosted was called School Pride, and it was on NBC. And it was a makeover show. Oh, that's me right there. Which one? With, uh, with the short hair? The one in the, yeah, the dress. Okay. <laughs> that's actually my, what you're looking at is my um, my acting reel. That's a still of my acting okay. reel, which that that was from an episode that I guest starred in um, for Castle, the show Castle. Castle, on ABC. yes, Castle. Yeah, I did that last year, and it was it was a whole lot of fun. And um, you know, that's the, those are the kind of roles that I've been auditioning for. I just auditioned for another you know brand new show um, that I believe will be on Fox. So fingers crossed. Hopefully, I get Definitely. it. Definitely. <laughs> is it is it any easier with your credentials, or are you still competing and cattle calling and rat racing? Oh, for sure. Really? You always have the oh, rat yes. race is continuous. Oh, yeah, yes. it's even for big stars. You know, even big stars have to audition, which is something. It's funny when I won Miss USA, yeah. I remember feeling this tremendous amount of like, oh my God, I finally made it, you know? <laughs> and it's like you never make it in this town. You know, you always have to continue uh, auditioning and taking meetings and doing your best to be out there. And, uh, you know, but it's, it's all good. I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Beautiful. I'm certainly. I can say now that I am living my dream, Beautiful. and I wouldn't change this for the world. I Beautiful. love it. Unfortunately, we're uh, we're running out of time. I'll give you a just a, a little an extra statement if you like. Uh, say what you'd really like to say. Sum things up. You got about a minute and a half. Of course. Well, you know, of course, I'd like to encourage anyone who's listening who will be in the LA area on Saturday, October twenty seventh, to join us at the Shrine Auditorium in LA um, for the new musical, Loving the Silent Tears. I think it's going to be, you know, it's a celebration, like I said, about uh, peace and love and. Um, it's going to be a cultural event and it's going to be a beautiful thing. And October 27th is my birthday. So oh, I thought, oh, what better birthday. way to celebrate than by promoting peace on earth? Happy and birthday. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, thank Susie, thank you so much for being with us. Good luck with the show. Sorry I can't be there. I uh, was invited and I would have loved to be there, but too, oh, too many thanks. miles. You'll be there in spirit. You bet I will. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks to Susie Castillo for joining us today. Our thought for the week. Now, I don't usually uh, quote my sources, but I will here. The government of the United States is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. That quote comes from John Adams. Another one. Heal the sick, feed the hungry, care for the weakest among us, and always pray in private. That is from the New Testament attributed to Jesus Christ. 
Stay tuned to WVOX, your quintessential community radio station, the flagship of Whitney Radio, the best small station in the U.S. of A. and perhaps the world. Special thanks to Bill O'Shaughnessy for your passionate belief in and support of the First Amendment. I am Bob Lebensold. My guest has been Susie Castillo. I am chronicler of the demise of Homo sapiens. That's me. Thank you very much for listening. And remember to be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a great battle. Bye-bye, Susie. Bye. You are here. It is now health and happiness to you all.